this is Z. I'm having a really crappy day. I will explain what's happening, where I've been, why I've been so quiet. I was having a little pity party a few minutes ago. And I figured I'd come on and talk to you guys because I know that I'm not the only one that's going through some bullshit. Tears have stopped. I decided to come to this place, put a smile on my face, to show you where that place is. That's the only thing right now that's going to lift my spirits. So, what had happened was. I locked my car. So what had happened was, uh, what's today? Friday? Wednesday. Had about an hour left of mail. And I fell down. There's a hole in the ground. And I had my satchel. A satchel is the mail bag. I don't know, it all happened within five seconds or so. Next thing I know, I ate shit. I ate shit and down I went. My knees are bad. I got bruises. I got a bruise on my hand. off a few days. I'm walking like I got a doo-doo. I'm sore. I'm sore. The pity party was because I'm asking for help. Not from you guys. <laughs> I'm asking for help from my immediate family since I'm the one that had the accident. And it hurts to walk. I show you all the bruise and the cut. Let me show you where I came. So Crystal from Bag o Day Crochet said there is new yarn at Walmart. That's where I came. Put a smile on my face. The yarn is here, so let's see together, and I gotta stop crying, I hate crying in public. If y'all could just listen, that'll be great. I mean, that's all you guys do, let's see, hello, Here's the mandalas. I want the ombre. It's a beautiful purple. What color is that? Oh no, what? Oh look, Aaron, there's your sparklies. Oh. I don't see no ombre. Is that an ombre? Very. People are fighting over here. Well, Crystal Bag o Day Crochet. That's pretty. That's called Baby. Baby Mandala. What color is it? Magic Moon. How much is it? Magic Moon is four ninety seven. Oh, that stuff is soft. 
Well, if all else fails, I'll get me a magic moon. Let's go check the end cap. Oh, wait. I think we have something here. Oh, crystal. That nab it. No. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Let me ask. Oh, apparently, she is not a hooker. See that? Motherfucker said they don't sell cakes. And I explained to her, I showed her what one cake is. I'm holding it. And she said they don't have any kind of yarn that looks like that, even though I was holding it. <sighs> yes? Well, that's all we got. I ain't even gonna bother with the cart. The end caps. Well, I'm disappointed. As you can see, that's all they are. That's pretty. Ow, I can't reach my arm. I'm going home. I left the cart over there. I only got these 10 or 15 little funky ass dollars. I need to hold on to them. So, I did finish one project. I completed, actually completed two. I got two foes and I still got that hoe. <laughs> and I'll show you what happened to my leg. As you saw, there was no yarn. <sighs> so I bought me honey boba, taro smoothie. Those are bobas. They used to be black, remember guys? That brought a smile to my face. <sighs> Go buy dog food with my gift card that my customers got me. And I'm gonna go lay down. I've been doing too much running around. My booty hurts. My thigh hurts. Wait till I see the bruise. There's a bruise on my hand hurts. Can you see it? <sighs> I left the doctor's office and I'll say half hour later, I saw in the news that there was a shooting down the street. <laughs> Cop got shot. Two cars crashed and a cop got shot because it was a shootout. I don't know what's going on. I think I have problems. It's been like three car chases a day. I need to go lay down. <laughs> okay, we're home. Let's show off my three foes. Don't forget. I got some buttons left. I think I have five sets left. If anybody wants them with some decals. Uh, the buttons by themselves are two for ten. I mail them anywhere in the U.S. <clears throat> buttons plus a decal is $13 anywhere in the U.S. So, almost done with my drink. Y'all caught me at a bad time earlier. When we're home, we're in my safe zone, my sanctuary. I want to show you all my foes. I had to take my car to get serviced today. And while it was getting serviced, I took my crochet bag and I worked on an old ass project. So old, I have no ball band. I don't remember what size hook I used. I just went with a J and then it went down to an I because I was playing yarn chicken and I lost. 
and I'll show you exactly where I lost. So this is the yarn, the final project. It's uh, some kind of shell stitch. I'll show you all right now. Look how pretty, right? And then here comes the part where I play yarn chicken. Right there. I was going with this beautiful blue and boom, ran out. So I hit it with that, um, what's the name of that yarn that I got at Stitches? That merino wool from Red Heart. My, is it soft. Yeah, you can't even really tell. Let me show y'all. It's not very long, but it's decent. Oh, I have to be careful. Ugh. Doesn't it reaches to my waist? Curtain over here. This is a um, shell stitch. Goes this way. It's a two double crochets, chain one, two doubles. You skip one and go to the next one. I don't know if Summer showed this, but I liked it and I wanted it. So I made it. So this is the first hoe. Now the second hoe is the baby blanket. Finish it, wash it, ends are woven in. That's the final project. I had to finish it. Oh, it smells so good. I had to finish it because I ran out of this peach. I had to go with a darker peach and I think you can tell right there. See how up here it's dark and here it's lighter. Peachy. Peachy keen. But overall, it's decent. It's for a newborn. It's just a cuddle blanket. Oh, it smells delicious. My next faux is 99.9999999% done. The reason I say that, it's completely finished. <coughs> All the stitches are done, ends are woven in, it's blocked, it's dry. The only thing is I'm going to copy my buddy Jose Luna. I thank you, Jesus. I thank the sweet Lord Jesus for introducing me to Miss Jose Luna for her replying that one time on Ravelry. If y'all ain't seen the video, I'm going to link it below where we had a chat. Me and Miss Thang. I laughed so hard I tinkled a few times. <laughs> but we were working on, it was her cousin Evelyn. Um... Claudia and myself, we were working on the granny cowl from Zines and Roger. Hi, Rosina! You see how yarn just lifts my spirit because compared to earlier when y'all caught me in the middle of some tears. I finished it. Let me show y'all. Ta da! You know why it's extra long? because it is. <laughs> I was supposed to stop two rows here, but I wanted to outline it with the dark blue and I wanted some more funk. To see the red and the blue wasn't picked up very much, so I added it to the bottom. And then three buttons, focus men. Three buttons are gonna go here, so that's why those stitch markers are in place. I blocked the kazungis out of it because I don't like anything choking me. Put it on this way. There you go. There's my kazungis. Ow. Ow, my knee. See? I got a deep point. But it hides my flaws. It hides my belly. I love it. It's kind of white too. 
I really did stretch the hell out of it, which is fine because I, I wanted this loose. I didn't think it'd be this loose. Maybe I will go ahead and stitch the back so it'll close up some, yeah? Instead of putting buttons, I guess I do have the room, but I'm not gonna close it all the way because I think Rosina has you closing it all the way up to here somewhere. But it's done. Oh, I pulled that apart. Well, you all get the gist of it. There you go. I like it a lot. Third fold. My only hoe that I was working on. Oh, my headset. My fortune Charlotte. <laughs> Claudia laughs every time I say that. I've got some progress. Isn't that pretty? Oh, she gonna be pretty. And then for the outline, I'm gonna hit it with. They're both. Um, this is black cat fibers, uh, more faux, and this is lady dye yarns. Here's the color, right there. Uh, golly, I can't remember the name. Lady Dye Yarns. She's a creator of this. Girl by. Yes. I was telling her, this is the first yarn I've ever worked with where it has no splitties, no cut yarn, no knots. I don't know if she hangs it twice. But I've, I've worked with four, three or four colors. Golly. Three or four colors and I've not had any knots. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Here we go. Here we go, yo. Whitaker, Lady Diarns. There's the ball gun. And then there's the, uh, the info. As to how I'm feeling now that I'm home, much better, much better. I was, I was a hot mess. But thank you all for checking me out and spending time with me. Rosina, this is beautiful. I'm gonna make another one. Probably not go as funky. Thank you for helping me out, Claudia because I don't know where I'd be without either one of them. Uh, if y'all want to make this, it's in the issue of Molly Makes Magazine. I'll try and remember to put that in the doobly-doo. I've included my email. Gosh, y'all know. <laughs> I can't remember right now. I, I'm, I'm hurting. I just want to go lay down. I'll enclose the pictures of what happened, how I looked the day of the accident, how I look now. But if you could do me a favor, please give me a thumbs up and uh, what is it like, share and comment and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, oh my goodness, I'm getting so many new subbies and I don't know who sent them to me, but I want to thank y'all. I was just messaging somebody. Her name is uh, Alpaca My Yarn. Mad Designs, I'll pack up my yarn. That's all I remember, because that's all the important part. <laughs> I'll pack up my yarn, I'll pack up my yarn. So nice to meet you. She's from Canada. And who else? I messaged somebody else recently too. And they were saying that they like that. I ain't about the bullshit. Y'all been watching me, the OGs have been watching me at least seven or eight years, and y'all know I've been the same way. The way I was then is the same way I am now. <laughs> so thank y'all for watching. And have a wonderful everything like Cynthia says. And like Gigi made it. Hi Gigi. Gigi says, and I'm going to say this too. Have a great day on purpose.
bye guys